What's up, YouTube land? And welcome to Pokemon 3D. Uh, I found this game fairly recently uh, by Ovi. If you uh, know Ovi, he started doing a let's play of this game, and I decided to download it. It's essentially gold, silver, crystal, or the remakes you can think of in Minecraft style graphics as you can see spinning around in the background it really looks cool I really wanted to see what a Pokemon game would look like with this uh, uh, graphic thing, with this style graphics also something about this playthrough that's gonna be different is all my uh, mons I'm gonna nickname in Japanese so I have my translator ready. I really want to just get into this game, so let's do let's do it. This is uh, gonna be a side project. It's not gonna be up regularly. It's probably gonna be only up like a weekend, like weekends at the most, because I'm gonna be spending most of my recording time on uh, Pokemon Omicron. I really want to just get through that game. Well, I want to get through the game as fast as possible while still enjoying it. But, uh, yeah, let's get into Pokemon 3D. I don't know if you can see that in the top corner, but I think that's the recording time. Hello! Sorry to keep... Oh, right, this is a mouse pad game. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. So, did Oak just reveal that he's fucking Jesus? Is that what just happened there? Because obviously he's floating now if you consider uh, where uh, Pile of Swine sitting on the ground, Oak is goddamn flying. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Yes, Oak, we've heard this for fucking 20 plus years now. Now, what did you say your name was? 20... Oh, oh right. You can actually choose which character you want, from Ethan to Lyra, even the Nate, even sixth gen character. I believe this guy's supposed to be the uh, gold, the heart gold and soul silver sprite. Nate, Hilbert, or Hilda. Uh, it's just me or Hilbert and Nate look exactly the same. The only difference being a hat. But I'll go with Nate. We'll go with uh I won't be rude this time. I'll go with my name, because that's how I tend to play every Pokemon game. With my own name. Jackson, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures where Pokemon awaits. Let's go! I'll be seeing you later. So yeah, this is legit a Pokemon game with fucking Minecraft graphics. I'm in my room. This is probably one of the first that I've seen. 
Oh, right, it's a uh, WASD keys. What the fuck? Oh, right. Yeah, these graphics are kind of mind fuckingly. Wait, that's not the word. It's confusing as all hell. That's what I say. Do you want to view the mystery events? Sure. There are no mystery events available at the moment. Please try again later. How do I go back? How did I, uh... How do I go backwards? Okay. So, here is our menu. change out to third person? I don't remember at the moment. But this is... The one thing I don't really like is the controls. Because it's based off uh, WASD, but also you can't really turn yourself. You can only turn the camera and then move forward. Which is kind of like a robot going 90 degree angles. Like, eh. Kind of thing. It's a TV. Nintendo Wii is connected to it via Wi Fi. Checking out all the buttons. Because I don't remember which goes to third person. It's a note on the wall about the donator of this game. So you can see anyone who contributed to the game. You can pause that if you want. There is our uh, bed. It's a very realistic bed, though. I have to say. About the controls. Do you want to read it? Yes. The controls in Pokemon. Move. W. Watch. A S D. Change camera. C. Open menu. G. Meet music. M. Hide. Guy. F1. Take screenshot. F2. Change camera mode F5. Right. So here is third person mode. Where we cannot. This is even more confusing because I can't look what's in front of my face. The camera mode off. Yep. Uh, you guys tell me in the comments which you want me to play first or third person, but for now I'm just going to play first person. It's the town map. And you can see it is truly uh, Johto and Kanto. They didn't... This isn't a fan-made... Well, this is a fan-made game, so to speak. They just took a regular game and changed the graphics is cool, but also kind of confusing. What the fuck was that? Oh, there's our mom. Here's our mom. Oh, Jackson. Our neighbor, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he wanted you to do something for him. I'm still not good at female voice. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go. Sweet, I received my Poke Gear. Pokemon Gear. Well, just Poke Gear. It's essential if you want to be a good trainer. By the way, do you know how to use the phone? Do I know how to use the phone? No. Don't you just turn the Poke Gear on by pressing Q and then switch over to phone? Phone numbers are stored in memory. Just choose a name you want to call. Gee, this is not convenient. Also, here is my number. I don't very often use my mother's phone number. I don't call her very often anymore. Maybe I should. Maybe this game will teach me that I should call my mother more often. 
Yeah, this are, uh, these are some crazy graphics. I don't know what you guys think. There's a movie on. TV. Stars. Dock the sky as two boys ride on a train. I'd better get rolling, too. Ah, train puns. Apparently I can just walk over these things as if they're fucking nothing. Okay, this... Having free camera on is definitely the better way to play. Then free camera off. Okay, I'm learning that now. Let's see what's in the fridge. Fresh water and tasty lemonade. Items apparently I can't take, but uh... I assume there is a potion in the PC? Or in our... In our computer? Where is our computer? Did I? No, wait, I didn't. back later. Oh, so we don't have that. Okay, never mind. Definitely forever playing with free camera mode on. What the fuck? Isn't that the door? Isn't that the door? I swear that's the door. DSS, phone, world map, statistics. Oh, I just walk out the door? Okay. I, ser I seriously thought there was an animation for the door. Here is our first look at the Johto region in Minecraft style graphics. <laughs> Yo, Jackson! I heard Professor Elm discovered some new Pokemon! Sweet, bro. This looks fucking ridiculous. Did your mom get it for you? Oh, yes, she did. Why are you asking? Oh, well, there's our uh, rival. We're gonna have to name him something good in Japanese. I'm gonna have to think of that for whenever that episode airs. Where's his L? No, he's in Pixel 8 form 2. These controls are just mind-boggling. Jackson, there you are. I need to ask you a favor. Um, I, I'm not good at copying King Nappy. The poison's called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding new things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just found email from him saying that his... This time, it's real. Oh, it's real. It's damn real. It's just intriguing. But we're busy with that. I'm not really good at doing a nasally voice. If you look, in, look into it for I'll give you a Pokemon for my partner. Hmm. They're all rare Pokemon that we just found. Go on, pick. So we get to pick our starter. Cyndaquil. Mm. I 
much as I like it, I'm uh, I'm sticking I'm sticking to strategy for both gyms and. Uh, Rita, as cute as you are. <laughs> so, starting with Chikorita never made sense to me originally. Although I would try it, I always started with either Totodile or uh, Cyndaquil. Because it just it didn't make sense. Chikorita is weak to the first two gyms. And even though we didn't know that when the game debuted, for some reason, Chikorita was never the obvious choice to me. So, I'm uh, gonna go with keeping, keep pressing the C, because I'm used to regular fan-made games, but I'm going with... I'm going with Syndicro. Damn, I think that's a great Pokemon, too. I received Cyndaquil! Rename. Oh, right. Hi, Jew. Because how stereotypical can I be if I don't just name it Kaiju? Mr. Pokemon lives near Terry Queen. The next city. It's almost a direct route to there. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with this machine. Feel free to use it any time. And I keep pressing C thinking it's A. Jackson, I'm counting on you. Let's look at our little Kaiju. Our little monster. He's got an Orenberry, Modest Nature, which is good in attack and uh, special attack, apparently. Ability Blaze, and Tackle and Leer. So, we're at 16 minutes, I think. If, oh, here's another guy. Jackson! You're gonna have this for your errand. Received the potion. See, that's something I was looking for. Is a potion. There are only two of us, so we're always busy. <laughs> okay. Cool, dude. Okay, let's just explore a bit. That's what the game looks like. And that's what running water looks like. Whoa! Hey, Cyndaquil! Whoa? Your Pokemon has a flower petal on its face. Okay. So this is definitely more like the remix than the original. This is definitely Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which I don't mind. I like the Pokemon following us aspect. I've always enjoyed that. Hi, Jeff. I'm not gonna... Hi, Jackson. My husband's always so busy. I hope he's okay. When he's caught up in his Pokemon research, he even forgets to eat. Oh, so this is, uh, Professor Elm's wife? I guess this is his kid? When I grow up, I'm going to help my dad. I'm going to be a great Pokemon professor. I'd actually like to see a true sequel to Gold So uh... I'd like to see a sequel to Crystal where it's not Professor Elm. Professor Elm's an old man, and his son is now the Pokemon professor. And, like, you have... And you play the game as, like, the child of the original hero from this game. I'd like to see that as a sequel at some point. So that's what flowers look like. And I still can't move as properly as I like. This doesn't have the controls of a standard Pokemon game. Pikachu is an evolved Pokemon. I was amazed by Professor Elmer's findings. He's so famous for his research on Pokemon evolution. So, I... Psyduck. I wish I could be a researcher like him. We'll marry his kid eventually, and you probably can. 
You've got a TV. You've gotten. You've got a big ass house with nothing else in it, bitch. See ya. I've got a house with an actual upstairs. And apparently a mom that still sleeps in the kitchen. Or, no, wait. No, she, uh, I think she might have had her own room, actually. Let's go back in her house for a minute. Yeah, well, here is the kitchen. But she could sleep in this giant empty space here. I mean, I, it wouldn't surprise me if, like, she put up a bed every night or something. So, what was Professor Elm's errand? That does sound challenging. We just should be proud that people rely on you. If I could copy my mother's voice, I'd do it like my... I... Never mind, I'm just gonna continue. I guess we have to talk to... Oh, he's gone. Damn, motherfucker's quick. Let's go... into this route. And this will probably be a half-hour episode. This is just... distracting. Pokemon hide in the grass? Who knows who's gonna pop out? Let's... let's try and get into a regular Pokemon battle. I am all types of confused. Seriously. This is legit confusing. Oh. Okay. I, I guess I kind of understand where I am. Yo! How are your Pokemon? If they're weak and not ready for battle, keep out of the grass. There's a green apricorn this week. Do you want to pick it? Yes. I picked the green apricorn. Is that a cut plant? Yep. Is that confusing as all hell? Because they're all goddamn green? Yep. <laughs> Apparently, the what you mean? Apparently, that's what Ash saw. At least some people believe that's what ledges would look like. You can't really just walk over it, I guess. I have no idea where the hell I am going. I'm seriously goddamn lost. Oh, that. <laughs> Cause, yeah, because that little cut in the ledge was really fucking noticeable. Sure. No, don't want to go there. I believe I want to go here. Here's our first encounter. This looks really good. Now, this is not going to be a Nuzlocke. Because I don't really want to play Nuzlocke for a while. Unless you guys want me to play Nuzlocke, when I know one of my friends is not. This is a really cool battle dynamic, I find. I mean, this is as close to the anime as you're going to get it. Like, seriously, if it, if it wasn't all pixelated, it'd probably look more like the anime than the regular video game. Except for the, the transition with no animation. Foresight. Kaiju was identified. Is he Godzilla? Is he Mothra? What Kaiju is he? No, he's just a syndical. I do like the health bar showing up right there. It's the subtle things in this game that I think for. The graphics, not as much. But definitely. So let's go this way. Around the cut plant. Talk to this fat fucker. I wanted to take a break. So I saved to record my progress. Smart move, dude, because only you can prevent uh, save data loss. This place is cool. The weather is clear, frankly. 
You should go for a walk and enjoy the day. I will walk forever! I never get tired! Different kinds of Pokemon appear past here. If you want to catch them all, you have to look everywhere. So, oh yeah, this is Route 46. This is still confusing as all hell. Um, I don't have a good Pokemon to fight GD. My, uh, Pokemon wasn't watching where it was going and ran in me. Oh, such a cute on fire Pokemon. I really didn't know what I was going with there. Okay. This is obviously the only path we can go. Oh, a Pidgey. Did some decent damage. Pidgey, yeah. I'm gonna survive longer than you are, Pidgey. Kaiju, a born bird. Thank you, Kaiju. You are a beautiful little monster. Some would say a pocket monster. And down goes Piggy. Kaiju gained personal experience. Okay, I'm obviously going. Okay, it's centric. Kaiju was identified. Again, you don't need to keep identifying my kaiju. I like the fact that they put the health bars up in the uh, top left hand corner and bottom right hand corner. You can see I'm probably getting close to leveling up. Centric Phoenix. Good job, Centric. That is cool. Kaiju you got a boost of eight. Two, one, 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 two. Kaiju you learn smoke screen? So can I hop over the ledge? Talk to you. What do you have to say to me? See those ledges? It's scary to jump off. You can go to New Bark without walking through the ground. So literally nothing has changed from Heart Gold and Soul Silver other than the graphics, which are absolutely ridiculous. Here we are in Cherry Grove City with three minutes to spare. Let's do um let's talk to this old man. Go to the Pokemon Center. Okay. I got blocked by a sign. Now this. This is definitely exactly how I imagine a Pokemon Center. This looks amazing. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon will help. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Indeed I, sh I indeed I shall, lady. Indeed I shall. Talk to you, Chansey. Nope. It's great. I can store any number of Pokemon. It's all free. Free if you're a Pokemon trainer, as we found out in Pokemon Omicron. What say you? This obviously is the Whiffy spot. Do you want to view the mystery event? No. Come back later. I got an item from the guy behind the blue table lately. You should try talking to him, too. Okay. This bookshelf is full of Pokemon related books. So, this guy? 
I'm gonna save right here just in case. Yes. 25 minutes. Do you want to view the mystery event? Yes. So I got nothing. Just talk to this old dude. In my day. The PC is free for any trainer to use. That definitely looks like the PC from the anime. If you guys recall. I did recall. So, um. Can I get out the fucking door? Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna call the episode there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Because. I'm gonna enjoy it, and it's definitely, probably gonna be one of my longer playthroughs, just to explore the graphics and everything, and uh, feel free to uh, smash the like button, because you, uh, your support is greatly appreciated, and obviously you can leave some comments down below for Japanese names you want me to use. I'll definitely take them into consideration before episode two. And uh, feel, uh, until next time. <laughs>